here, or as the um, thing that's keeping you know you know the thing you know, obviously the charge. Okay. Yeah, speaking is uh, kind of going crazy right now, so bear with me with my stuttering today. But yes, so interesting. Wow, <laughs> it's just weird. Okay, um, because I did, a, you know, I always pull a reading before, for myself before I start doing any readings for everybody. This is the third time I've seen this. It's just known for me, for Scorpio, and now for you, Sedge. Wow. But anyway, so, which I would attribute to you, but again, remember, pick the side that resonates with you the most. This person is on the, uh, it's, it's, someone's not making a decision about something because they're afraid to take that leap of faith, you know? It's like, the, the thing I always say with the Two of Swords is that it's not the decision that needs to be made, it's always the, um, it's always the execution of that decision. Now, I feel like somebody's trying to keep the balance of something because they're afraid that their truth will be, you know, it be a situation's demise. Or more so, you know, what the Two of Swords leads to is the Three of Swords, which uh, indicates old issues, past pains, heartache. So somebody may be uh, trying to avoid some sort of heartache, some sort of pain. So they're not being authentic. They're not really doing something or they're not doing anything, actually, because they're afraid that whatever they do decide to do or take action on, it will bring them towards some sort of hurt, some sort of pain. Now, this individual, though, is very much in love. Their mind is very much focused on what they feel, how they feel, what their, you know, what their emotions, um, you know, are telling them. And I feel like this person is very much focused on their, um, their, you know, their, their heart, what they feel. Now, this person is also very intuitive since it's the mind and, the, you know, the queen of cups is here. Their focus is on how they feel, what their intuitions are telling them. And I feel like this person is very much guided by their, by their emotions. So I feel like this person over here, definitely in love, definitely knows what they want. And I feel like that's what their motivation is. That's what their kind of their aim is. Their focus is, is on how they feel. Now the found, no, excuse me, not the foundation, but the body aspect of it, or the physical, um, you know, representation of both parties, what they represent to each other, to to each other here, because uh, it's obviously going to be different from one another. This person's on hold, the waiting on something, it's kind of not moving in a certain direction at all. It's very stagnant energy. So not only is their mind keeping them from moving forward, their whole body isn't doing anything either. If somebody has put it on hold because they're incapable of making a decision, and as you notice, in the fat, and as we get closer to the fat, you know, the root, it's going to be more and more understandable why they're not making any moves. This person's stagnant. They're not moving. They're not doing anything. They're not making a decision. They're not taking any action. They're just stagnant. Now the other person over here with death coming up. This is about releasing, embracing a new beginning. Okay. This is like literally this card, they have the card right after this. So this person has already gotten out of, of, of like, like their, their, their mental prison or this, you know, this limbo that this person is in at this present moment. And I feel like this person right now is allowing themselves to dream and that, you know, and how they do that is by releasing the old and embracing the new embracing a potential for something new that they know there's a new beginning here but it requires them to release some old old situations past disappointments whatever this is giving them more hope i feel and i feel like this is also allowing this death energy whatever this is because obviously death is cleansing this is scorpionic energy here something's this person's clearing the air, clearing the energy, so that way they can't have something new. So they can manifest exactly what it is that they want. They know what they want. They know what they desire. And they're content with what they have currently. They're content with themselves. The Queen of Cups is happy and she's in love with herself, with the people around her. And I feel like with death coming up here is this person's foundation. They are going through a period, a transition process, leaving the old beginning of the new. They're growing. But they're doing it in a very slow and a very graceful way because death is very graceful. Um, it can be very difficult, nonetheless. But this is about moving forward and not letting this, you know, this this the old keep down something that can potentially be amazing and new and exciting for this individual. Okay. Now, as we get close, now we're getting to the foundation now with the five of cups. 
The reason why this person is not making any moves, any decisions, really keeping the balance is because they're not over this energy. Like I said, this person has gone through this, you know, the situation already with the hangman stuck in limbo, being stuck because they need to see something from a different perspective. And the reason why is because this five of cups, the three cups that spilled over, this is a serious disappointment. This is sadness to them and they've lost it, lost something precious. They're afraid of perhaps of doing that again. They're afraid of looking into that situation or, you know, this person may not be ready to move forward. Or shift their focus to love. This is not necessarily that means that this situation is overall. They're not ready at all. Because the Wayne Man energy is saying, well, you, until you accept the past as for what happened, nothing can become of anything. You're keeping yourself at a stagnant position. Nothing can come from stagnancy. So this person, unfortunately, and then unfortunately, because this is fortunate, they have an opportunity of something new. They know that there's a connection here. They know that there's something that's brought these, you know, you two together. The three cups that they lost here has never actually been lost. But they're looking at the past at some situations that may have thought, you know, the brought them disappointment, some things, some old cups have spelled. But the three cups here, what brought you together is these three cups support, connection, you know, friendship, union. There's something here that this person believes that they lost. More, they have more than just the two of cups that they can regain here. They have the cut three of cups that they lost as well as the connection. But they don't see that here because, right, the two of swords, they don't see it. Because they're not, they're not willing to make, to, 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 to look at the truth, to look at this truth, to make the decision and take this, to go after the thing that they want. Really to stand by their truth, their belief, or to make the decision that is, you know, that's difficult for them, you know. So it's it's very powerful. This person is 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 you know is going through things, but they reckon they realize it. They will realize it because the hangman is it's going it's going to be a matter of time. The hangman doesn't just you know pop up because you know wants to hang out and say say hello. This person is in a hangman position. Is in a stagnant position right now because there's something that they need to see. There's something important. That they need to see and it has to do with their belief system it has to do with the way they see the world which is not the thing at all they're not seeing it at face value at all and i feel like they're just afraid to open their heart up again just take a chance to you know to work with what they've got because they've been disappointed before the underlying energy the eight of swords eight of cups rather and the eight of swords is coming up in here crazy i, I didn't even mean <laughs> that's crazy so so now like this person is stuck in their mind right now because of this situation where they've, you know, somebody may have, you know, been dissatisfied. Somebody, this person here may have been dissatisfied or somebody may have been dissatisfied. And, you know, this is about finding that cup to really make this person happy or finding this cup to make the relationship satisfied. Going after what it is that makes this person happy. Trusting your intuition and going for it. Because this is all, I feel like more than, than anything, it's not just like, seeing the options and saying nah the same for me it's more about saying you know what this is not going to you know if you know this is not what makes me happy it's not going to be the end game that's not going to be what i'm going to settle with and i'm not going to just sit here and mope over the fact that there's nothing around me here that makes me happy i'm going to go find it determination to find it and i feel like this person right now it's just they're they just they haven't forgiven this loss they haven't forgiven themselves for what they've lost. They haven't forgiven the person for what they've lost here. Forgiven the fact of the, they haven't forgiven the situation. They haven't done what this person is here is doing right now with death. Their root right now, their foundation, where they're coming from is from a place of loss. But they have a connection here that they can still work with. And I feel like once they notice that, once they realize that. They, you know, this relationship can blossom, right? And I feel like it has to do with this relation, you know, the religious factors. I feel like somebody had some serious factors and some strict factors regarding the building of this relationship. But I feel like this person here does. This person had some serious stuff that they needed to have with this relationship. Or this, this person here did, right? is the queen of swords this person is you know very, knows what they believe in knows what their truth is they're not really they're not interested in buckling but they're open-minded 
as long as you come with them with the truth, they're open to you. They're open to helping you. They're open to, you know, to working with you. But this person's belief system is based off of honesty and truth. And I feel like this person feels like they lost something. It's not lost something precious to them, to them because, you know, I feel like they have some sort of strong belief system that they know is changing anyway. But I believe that maybe somebody may have lost something because someone else was very strict. Someone else was very, you know, cockroach, not interested in dealing with somebody because they didn't have the same sort of belief system. This person has to be brave because the challenge here is bravery. The queen of wands, being fearless, going after whatever it is that you want. Creating a new avenue, creating a new path, being authentic to oneself. The Queen of Wands doesn't stop at anything um, just because something doesn't look right. She'll still go after it. There's, there's nothing about, you know, there's nothing that will keep this Queen down. And I feel like with this Queen of Wands here, I feel like this is just truly embodying, you know, self-confidence. This person does not feel very confident right now. This person is gaining it. I think it's the process. They're gaining confidence. Their foundation is one of the most confident individuals in this tarot deck. You know, indicates protection, indicates seriousness, and, you know, they're detached. Their foundation is a very logical approach, but their mind is focused on their emotion. You know. And I feel like this person here has stopped all process of progress because they haven't forgiven this energy. They haven't they haven't let this they haven't let it go yet. They're going to be fearless. And I feel like this connection what brought this the person together. The reason why they are together right now is they're both releasing something. This person in the process of this release so they can begin a new life. I feel like this person is already like halfway through. This person is just beginning. This release process this person is having to release this pain this 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 loss so they can go after what makes them really happy let me go ahead and pull your final card here sag i'm gonna go ahead and let you go after that All right, you guys got two cards. I love you. Three important words. Oh, you guys have three cards. All right then. So I love you. These are very important words. I agree. So that's maybe that's the scary thing. Maybe they want to say that, but they're afraid of this loss. They're afraid of losing everything. Being maybe that's the thing. Even though. <laughs> but I love you. It also has, well, you guys have all together. Love is all around you. There is love everywhere, all the time. Simply acknowledge this is truth. I love. No matter what they've lost, was the connection was still there. But this person is in their in their mind right now. They're not thinking. They're they're just they're they're holding it in. It's not really about holding it in. It's just they're not they're not confident in themselves to make the decision that their heart wants to make because of what they've lost. That's going to end up you know breaking anyway. They can't hold the swords up there forever. But you have back to what you love. Your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate re what you want. The Eight of Cups, this is the underlying energy here. This is like... Wow, awesome. What an awesome reading. I really, like, give this person patience. If this is you guys over here, and you're not this individual, 
gotta give this person patience right now because this person has to go through this pain in order to release it that's why this person's holding on you know like i said once they make the decision they face that three of swords which is the old issues old pains and they need the support right now the three of cups is, the, is what brought you together in the first place the support the love and i feel like you if this is you guys you have it you know it you're willing to give it you're open to it this person right now needs it so be the support they need because right now they're having to return back to what they love returning back to the heart and that's going to be hard for them to do considering that they've been locked up they are locking house up because that three of swords issue the three of swords situation that's painful guys please understand this person around you they do i feel like this person does love you take the time that you need to see the s to see something to see the thing that you need to see so you can be free so you can enjoy the connection does sometimes sometimes relationships are not perfect but you make them perfect by allowing yourself to you know to to accept the situation as it as it is and adjust and grow with it typical type and that's what you're afraid of disappointment first before you deem it that way and i don't think you are right just just saying you know and i think ultimately right whatever the, whatever you lost before whatever your this you know situation is spiritually you're you know you're mourning honor your mourning but then be ready to tackle the next chapter because you got something amazing over here on the other side. Someone amazing that wants to start something new with you, but it's going to require you to be brave, 